We all got to have a good squeeze at the plans uh, for the new waterfront development. Quite exciting. Yep. Um, because it's happening. Yes. That's what's exciting That's about exciting. it. It's we, not a plan. It's it's actually going to happen. We are thrilled. And, of course, in these times, we always turn to our Lord Mayor, Lisa Scafidi. Hi, Lord Lisa. Hi. How are we? You're good. Terrific. Now, sweet, I just want to say off the bat, I'm, I like it. I think it's quite cool. It's exciting um, that, that something's actually going ahead, Lisa. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with you. Mm, um, we got some questions, though. Okay. <laughs> sure. So here's my first question. Um, I saw on that map there was Precinct 9, which is going to be the promenade where the cafes and stuff are going to be stretching for about a kilometre. Is that just... Is how that, far does that go? Yeah, how far does it go? Because um, uh, my understanding was I thought the foreshore was going to have stuff all the way around it. So, you know, it's sort of like a big perimeter. People can walk around and see different stuff. Is that just in one spot? Yeah, look, the uh, the inlet, as I would call it, yeah. the water that comes in, is going to have a diversity of restaurants, alfresco opportunities and different attractions around it. So all the so way around? Pretty well all the way around. Good. I mean, what you've got to appreciate is the development lots that you see as just the squares around that as well yep. will be buildings. And obviously within the ground floor of those buildings, there will also be other cafe and retail opportunities because the focus is very much on a great people activation on that ground floor level. Oh, good. And what I'm heartened by with this vision is the fact that there has been a greater focus on the human scale element as in the people place. Right. Right. Well, that's well, that, great. That's mm. good. We're going to open up an Italian restaurant down there. Thought it would go absolutely <laughs> game. Oh, fabulous. We need more Italian restaurants. <laughs> yeah. I love hey, that. hey, Lisa, no doubt over the last 24 hours since this has been announced that you would mm. have been uh, doing the rounds, people would have more than likely tried to criticise this at some stage. How have you been going with that? Well, you know, look, I am uh, really interested to watch that and I sort of sit back and take it all in as you would expect me to. Most people in the city fully support it mm. and most people who are working working around the inner city area fully support it. I feel a lot of people who don't come into the city a lot don't understand. And, of course, I've even seen on Facebook and other, you know, different uh, areas that I'm engaged with comments about we should have more hospitals and schools and this yeah. and that. Yeah, yeah. What I would say is, and I mean this with all sincerity and I'm not knocking those people, we're getting a new hospital and our health system's pretty good. Yeah. If we don't understand and be proud of progress and put up with the disruption, yeah. we are not going to have a 21st century world-class mm. city. We won't need hospitals and schools <laughs> if we no don't have a city <laughs> that keeps our young people here. Hallelujah, Lisa. <laughs> I agree. Say it, Thank sister. Agree. Now, Lisa, um, speaking of the inconvenience, um, when we looked at that, at the uh, the plan yesterday, it's sort of like, where does Riverside Drive go? Because a lot, of, which, one, it's it's a thoroughfare. A lot of people use it, you know, mm-hmm. to, to get through that area. But in addition, it's also a fairly spectacular drive and visitors are always impressed when you drive them down Riverside mm-hmm. Drive. Yeah. It appears that because of the inlet, it, it will be cut in half. Where's the traffic going to go? Okay, great question. So glad you asked. (laughs) I have another theory in this role that I'm in that actually we are very habitual with our traffic Mm. pattern usage. Mm. And yes, we will need to change our traffic pattern usage while this is under construction. And obviously people hopefully will establish new habits of Graham Farmer Tunnel, which we read is going to have a new Mm. laneway added in each direction. And you know, they can go along um, Rose Street and Newcastle Street and get onto the freeway that way, plus, you know, other routes that I'm not mentioning now. Yeah. But once the waterfront has finished, yes. they will be able to continue to use Riverside Drive, but when they get to the waterfront part, they yeah. will then go around I'll it. just loop around it. Correct. Now, obviously, if they're in a hurry, that's not going to be the wisest choice. Yeah. But for those who are visiting or having tourists in their car, they can enjoy that. So, again, I just want people to be more flexible mm. with their choice of routes and not be so habitual. And I really want us to be a city that is proud of our progress because, yeah, I'm no, I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say it's not going to be a pain in the proverbial while this is happening and the disruption won't impact our lives in various ways. But, you know, to coin that mm. phrase, no pain, no gain. Yeah, that's right. Sh- short-term pain for long-term gain. Oh. Correct. <laughs> Exciting times ahead. Yeah, I, for it one, am gl- glad to see progress happening. Yeah, in our city. It's, it's a good and thing. it's happening in our lifetime, so be <laughs> proud. Lord Lisa! <laughs> <laughs> see ya. <laughs> 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 <laughs>